Okay, this is basically how to deal with math for nurses. This is all about exponential growth. Bacteria grows exponentially when the room is warm. So that's why we say exponent, the exponent and exponentially. Repeat, exponential growth. Go ahead, your turn. Exponential growth. Exponential growth. Exponentially. Exponentially. Bacteria grow exponentially. Repeat. Bacteria grow exponentially. When the room is warm. When the room is warm. So, there are no cells growing when it's cold. Very cold. Freezing here. And this right here is temperature. Right across here. Uh, 32 degrees, 60 degrees, 80 degrees, 120 degrees, 122. Up here is the number of cells. See the number of cells there? Yeah, number of cells. So once we start warming it up, aha, now we can have some growth. But it's very slow right here. As the room gets warmer and warmer, the rate of growth gets very fast. This will continue. But if it starts getting too hot, then some of them start dying. And they can't take the heat until finally, somewhere out here, the heat kills bacteria and it will go back down to zero. Now, this rate of drop and the rate of growth, that's exponential. And you can see something about that right here. Um, if you have something y equals x squared, whatever you put here is the 1. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. 5 squared is 25. So you go over 5 up to 25. So that's why this is, anytime you have a curve, it's exponential growth. Now, the other thing to look for is the ability to convert. If something's freezing or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, there's no growth, right? But there might be slow growth at 50 degrees, a little more growth at 68. That's when AC is on. But if the AC is off and there's no air conditioning, oh my, you're going to have some real good growth going on. And then if it gets too hot, it starts killing the bacteria. So you know, um, that's why you saw this thing here, these rates of growth. It's not the same as adding something. This is adding. The other one was uh, multiplying. Um, my truck uses seven gallons per hour, and that's regular growth. If you drive two more hours, you're going to do 14 more gallons. So uh, one hour, seven. Another hour, that's a total of 14. And then you add another seven, 21. So that's straight line. This is straight line uh, arithmetic growth. It's growing, but at a constant rate. The growth here is faster than constant. It's constantly in increasing. Now, I had a student that had this unfortunate situation. They had to compare two exponents. One of them had a negative 3, one had a negative 7. So what all you do is you just plug in 1 for x and see what the y will be. So I pr plug in 1 for x and my y is negative 3. Plug in 1 for x and the y is negative 7. Now you see that if it's got a negative 7, it's going to be narrower than the one that's wide. I hope this has been helpful. This has been Math for Nurses. You guys don't need to know all the silly stuff that we math teachers teach you. This is the stuff that is a lot more interesting. Thank you for your interest. Bye.